Okay, today I'm going to tell you guys why I use paper to do a lot of my beadwork on. I mean, for one, this keeps, keeps my lines symmetrical and everything aligned as I need to do it like a fill. That's something really intricate, delicate, or crazy looking. More so, just a lot of, puts a lot of detail into it. And keeps my beads lined up. All the points where it comes across. So, just off a simple circle graph. I have it on my bio on my Instagram. Or if you want, you can go online and search circle graphs. And I'll bring up this pattern or that pattern. Whichever you guys prefer. Save, copy, print. I'll probably save print. And you guys will have it. Other than that, I do like a lot of drawings. This I drew a while back. Then I took it to my computer and redrew it. So now I have the pattern saved on my computer on a thumb drive. And whenever I need it, I can print it off and beat that. As well as these, I have saved. When I beat again, beat this again, I'll have the same exact pattern on both sides mirrored. Or if not, I can have them both facing the same way or whichever direction I need. Like my tulips, I have big ones, small ones. Let's see. Also, I call them like a big medallion, then I have a big pattern save. Or if I want to do a bunch of little ones like this, I have that save. And the most ones you guys seem to like a lot, the Lotus Flower. So it keeps all my patterns the same and my beadwork the same. But then again, some of you guys do like a really tight close edging. You guys can just cut the corners and cut all that stuff off and cut the paper down. Or you guys don't want to see the paper and wonder how the paper comes out like that. There is no paper, but just paper all around. How did I do that? Oops, with my fancy tool. Tend the exact same knife with a Glover needle at the end of it. Sharper, three point. It's different than your standard bead needle because this is made to go through leather. Leather. Yeah, go through leather. But all you gotta do is perforate the edge. Go, well, let me show you. Sit down. So you go along the edge and you just perforate. Along that one side, da, 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 da. try to be as close as you can. I'm not really that. You may have to go through like three or four times just to be really sure that you got it. Because if you don't get the, if you don't get enough holes, the perforation on the edge, and you go to tear, then it'll pull on your string and it's a pull your beadwork as well. And then you're gonna have to go through and re sew and retack everything down again. So be sure to make sure that you are putting enough holes around the edge so that you can tear the paper out without having any issues. Just see, easy, simple. Paper is basically gone from that from the edge. And you can cut your line and do the other kind of edging that is not a thick edge, but it's a smaller edge. But this will have a very thick edge because I'm that's what I know. I can do something with no edge. Really nice. So that's why I use paper for what I do. 
just because I do a lot of work that needs to be intricate. And I want my patterns to be the same, my lines to be the same, and it's easy to draw on paper and erase paper. Plus if you draw on this with if you draw on this and you mark it, there's no really no erasing or covering up or taking off because that will happen. So for me, paper is a lot easier because I can draw on it, I can do all kinds of stuff to it. If it doesn't work out, then all I do is just rip the paper off, take my string off, put a new piece on, redraw what I need to draw, or change my pattern to whatever I want. This is one design, and this is another design. Same size, just different design. Still has a bunch of intricacies to it. But this is why I need paper.